for copper, the ideal case would be simply take hydrogen and copper oxide, and that is how we get extraction of copper done. So extraction of copper. What do you do? You take copper oxide, which is black solid, and we pass hydrogen gas, which is heated up on top of it. It displaces it. When hydrogen displaces it, what will you get? Water. You get? We'll get water. water. Yep, we'll get steam. That is what we get, plus copper metal. This is better method than this one because here, we were getting carbon dioxide, which is obviously a gas and goes away, but some carbon might have been left over. Secondly, carbon is also black. Copper oxide is also black. If you mix them, you don't really know which one's which. So you don't know whether the reaction is complete or not. Okay. But with this one, hydrogen is also a gas. Water at this temperature is also a gas, which means that both of these things go away and we just have black and copper, which is pink. So it's very easy to look at it and be like, oh, it is done or it is not done or whatever is happening. Okay. So that's the main idea here that we can simply use hydrogen gas to do it for copper. Now this copper that you get, it is impure. So what do we do? We do electrolysis of copper to purify it. So copper is further purified. using electrolysis. So if you remember in electrolysis, what was happening? We had impure copper on one side and pure copper on the other side. And then we connected them to a battery. Can anybody tell me whether this should be uh, positive or this should be positive? Which one should be positive? The impure copper should be positive because it is the anode and it moves from anode. Good. Very good. This should be positive because I want, so the simplest way to think about it is I want copper ions to come here. So this should be negative. And because this is negative, the other would be positive. That's how I remember it. But you can have your own method of remembering this. So now we obviously dip it in ideally copper salt, but you can use other substances as well but mainly we do copper sulfate aqueous. Okay, so pretty straightforward, easy method. And now what will happen is that at the anode, impure copper will dissolve. Remember the first rule of electrolysis that reactive metal dissolves. So this one's going to dissolve and give us, this is copper, uh, this is going to make copper ions. This thing is blue in color. When this dissolves, it just gets more blue. At the cathode, copper ions are going to deposit because they're going to come and get electrons. Why? Because this is negative. This is lots of electrons. So we get copper. <clears throat> and that way, we get this copper to move here. It, does, it doesn't really have to be that particular atom, but Eventually, whatever amount of copper we have here is deposited over here. So you will see that the anode will lose mass. So anode loses mass and cathode gains mass. <clears throat> and that is how we are able to extract copper from these metals, <laughs> these ores. Okay. What about the excess hydrogen gas here? So excess hydrogen gas is burnt off. <clears throat> if there's some extra, we can just burn it. So that is how we do this. I'll show you a diagram to see how this is done. So usually we have this long tube in which you have copper oxide powder and you heat it. So this is copper oxide powder and you heat it from one side we have hydrogen gas coming up. <laughs> and over here, obviously, it's going to react with it, make water, water vapor mainly, and uh, extra hydrogen gas that did not react. So that is passed into 
a water container. And the whole idea is that it will dissolve in this water container, but hydrogen doesn't dissolve. So hydrogen goes away and this hydrogen gas is burnt off here. So this is a flame to burn hydrogen gas. Okay. So this is usually a method that we dissolve the water. So this is water and that water vapor that's coming in, it's also dissolved in this one. So that's how we cool it. At the end, we just have pure copper left over here. So this is a setup for this reaction. Everybody, do you understand this? Any questions? 